In our top headline today, Israel has sworn in a new chief of staff amid internal tensions within the army and security threats outside. ILTV's Aaron Porris with the details. The Israeli army is swearing in a new chief of staff today with Major General Herzi Alevi replacing Lieutenant General Aviv Kochavi in a series of ceremonies, including at the military headquarters in Tel Aviv. Alevi was chosen by former Defense Minister Benny Gantz, a controversial appointment, as the decision was made during last year's electoral campaign. Gantz wrote on Twitter at the time of the appointment that he was convinced Halevi would lead the IDF to the right place. But it's said that the prime minister would have selected Eyal Zamir, the director general of the defense ministry. The two positions have clashed in the past. Now, the incoming chief of staff headed the Southern Command during border violence along the Gaza Strip in both 2018 and 2019. And most recently, he served as deputy chief of staff, a natural step to his new role. Still, Halevi is set to face many challenges, including the uptick of violence in the West Bank and multiple hotspots, including on Israel's borders with Gaza and Lebanon, as well as an evolving campaign against Iran in Syria. The setup of the new government with members of the new religious right taking key security positions may also play a part in future tensions. Halevi was born in 1967 into an observant family in Jerusalem and will be the first observant chief of staff despite no longer wearing a kippah. A married father of four, Halevi lives in the Kfar HaOranim settlement. Halevi also has a bachelor's degree in philosophy and business administration from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, as well as a master's degree in national resource management from the National Defense College in the United States. Following Halevi's confirmation, Kochavi congratulated him and wished him success, saying he's a brave, professional, and talented officer. Hersi Halevi will be the IDF's 23rd chief of staff. And besides the morning ceremony, Halevi and Kochavi are scheduled to have ceremonies with Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Herzog at Mount Herzl and at the Western Wall.